The family did receive payments. Okay. There's a lot more to uncover here. What about his parents? How involved were the parents with this business? Uh, is there any evidence of his parents' involvement in the operations? Putting aside their son's legal bills, what about them, particularly the dad? Could he be charged with any crimes? Can you provide some indication of whether customer funds from FTX.com were in fact transferred to Alameda Research? Had he been an employee of FTX, as has been reported? Uh, certainly, Mr. Bankman Freed uh, has, uh, has uh, let's say, wooed many in New York, Silicon Valley, around the world, and yes, certainly here in DC. Uh, he was, uh, it, they, they loved everything, everybody loved the exciting idea of a politically progressive, smart entrepreneur who was going to reimagine capitalism uh, and, uh, and change the, word, uh, the world, feeling better about themselves, all while making them gobs of money. And I'm glad to see it's finally unraveled. Freed's father, Joseph Bankman, works as a tax law professor at Stanford, though he's announced he won't be teaching at the university next year. We know his mother, uh, Barbara Freed, was not really involved in the business itself. In the last month or so, she's, she's been in the Bahamas advising her son, but with, before that was not a, certainly not as active as, as her husband. The father, Bankman, worked for FTX for almost a year. Deeply involved in the business in its early days, he helped the company recruit its first lawyers. Last year, he joined the FTX staff in meetings on Capitol Hill. He consulted FTX employees on tax matters and also had a large focus on FTX's charitable operations. His mom, Barbara Freed, retired from teaching at Stanford, was a head of a political advocacy network called Mind the Gap, which she helped start to support democratic campaigns and causes. Her son was among the donors for the network. Can you provide some indication of whether customer funds from FTX.com were in fact transferred to Alameda Research? Well, definitely assets of, of customers in the dot-com silo were transferred to Alameda, no question about it. Uh, uh, we have not seen this at this stage uh, from the U.S. silo. But of course, you know, we, we do have one concern, and that's the concern we're chasing down, which is whether or not there's commingling between the dot-com silo and the U.S. silo exchanges. And, and the reason for that is we know that there was sort of common control and access uh, of authorized users at, at this most senior management level amongst all of the assets. So it's something we have to, we have to focus on. We haven't seen evidence right now of that, uh, but certainly that's something we need to investigate and trace. Bankman Freed has maintained in an interview with the New York Times that his parents, quote, weren't involved in any of the relevant parts of the business, such as the balances or risk management. Uh, is there any evidence of his parents' involvement in the operations? We're mm -hmm. investigating that, uh, as well as any other, you know, players in the Email, area. Slack, you know, it's signal. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's billions of records. It's a very okay. vibrant environment. Um, so I hear that you haven't discovered that? I mean, it, it would seem interesting that, uh, that they didn't either give legal advice or business advice or parental advice, maybe? Well, well certainly, clearly, you know, I think in our first day papers, we indicated that, uh, uh, that Mr. Bankman had given legal advice. Okay, had, had he been an employee of FTX, as has been reported? Uh, you know, I, I don't know if, his, if he actually had an employee status, uh, okay. but he certainly received payments from uh, the family did receive payments. Okay, it, that sounds like employment to me. Bankman Freed and his parents together bought real estate in the Bahamas worth $121 million. You mentioned real estate, that's on the list. Uh, private jet use, a few other things. Now, as, as is often the case, it's a little unclear um, which party was received what. Most of the counts in this indictment allege a conspiracy. A conspiracy is basically an agreement to commit a crime. <laughs> So you have to, um, Sam Bankman Freed had to agree with somebody else. And so the question is, who are those somebody else's?